What's up, everyone? Episode 42 of the Party Wagon Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about a really cool new Kickstarter in the Mutant Multiverse from my friend Jonathan House at Treasure Monster Toys. We've also got uh, some New York Comic Con reveals, which is awesome timing, Stephen. Yeah. Uh, since we can have something to talk about today. So, super hyped. Uh, surprise, I'm not at New York Comic Con. I've gotten so many goddamn messages about it, and I'm so sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, are you New York Comic Con? Are you New York Comic Con? Uh, for everybody that wants to know, I'm looking over this way because this is my screen today. I know Steven's over here, uh, yep. so I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, trying to fix the brightness of the screen if you're watching. Um, but anyway... Uh, yeah, New York Comic Con reveals a lot of good stuff. I know Steven's happy because there's a lot of Toon stuff in there. Yes, I'm, I'm very much stoked about it. Yeah, so um, I'm excited because a figure that I have is, got announced, and it's really exciting. Uh, so that's really fun. And then new Last Ronin stuff. So uh, I thought of you right away as soon as I saw those. <laughs> I was wondering how long it was going to take. I found out about those last September, last September, okay. over a year ago. Um, so that's really cool. So, yeah. So I guess we're going to jump right into it. Stephen has an obligation to fulfill because uh, we keep dropping the ball and forgetting. Stephen wants to highlight a creator in the community uh, with yep. some cool stuff. Yeah, so there's a member of the wagon who created these um, – what do you call these – Gary, the, the nunchuck. nunchaku, yeah, the nunchuck for the layered version. Because on the drawings, there's a there's an argument out there where people say there's one of them, one nunchuck versus two, and he actually created the STL and made it publicized for everybody. However, he also makes them, and they fit perfectly. Um, no, no issues at all. The color is right. And it, to me, it makes my OCD happy where <laughs> now I finally have the correct version for the NECA. Um, what's his name? Brian. I forgot his last name. Uh, sure. I can't pronounce it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Yeah, Is it Briar Shin? Bri yes. Briar Shin. Yes. Sorry. Thanks, Gary. I was going to look it up. But yeah, they're so, amazing. And you, I highly you're gonna recommend when, Are you going to Are you gonna get pissed when uh, I finally remember to ask Pete if it's one or two and he tells me it's two? No, because the drawing shows one, and I'm looking at it right now. So, um, I then, to ask. you right. And then one other shout out I want to give real quick. I'm, our, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to write the text right now so I don't forget to send it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. And then lights for the street, NECA street dios. Or oh, street yeah. Street. Huge. They're amazing. And also, what, what you guys do. Is here, I'll show you real quick. Is it goes on the street with the little peg holes, and then you put the little light he provides. Oh, of course, there. Hold on, it's a little loose. There we go. And I'm not too sure if you can see how it brights up. And then it makes the uh, the street scene so much better. Gives it a little light and a little more details. So, there you go. And the the guy's name is BJ BJ Natividad, I believe it's pronounced. Yeah, Avionics. Yep, exactly. So, Gary, do you have any shoutouts today? No. Okay. Just curious. No one sends me shit anymore. Well. <laughs> I purchased these and they're they, they, they no, I love I love buying things as I, I mean like with with BJ I bought I bought like fifty dollars worth of those lights. Oh, I have them uh, I have them across my whole diorama. I'm pretty sure I've got some more around here somewhere. I have four NECA street dials and I've got the lights on all of them. So um I definitely got those from him. I got a lot of really cool things from people in the community that I've either bought or got sent. So um I just haven't really had the ability to really mingle and see some cool shit lately. So I, I didn't know Briar did those little guys. So yeah, 
uh, he did, did amazing work for sure. So I'm curious if anybody's printed my ring yet. The one that you can hang up on a wall. The yeah. I did the I did a, a a stump turtle corner. I 3D modeled the corner of a ring. Yeah, yeah. With a thing, and you can hang it on a wall. And I I tried printing it multiple times, and I kept getting like critical failures on my printer. I kept like stopping at 10% on both I, on all the items. I don't know what happens. So, like I haven't been able to successfully do it. All I've done is uh, this is as far as I got was, was I took a couple layers of foam and gave it a little bit of an airbrush like from the comic and I got the post in and then the the side uh, and I was going to do a side. I got to do the, the ropes and then the, everything but like I never really forgot very far because i just got bored of it i just okay. if something doesn't really come out the way i like it i just give up immediately so this has been like five weeks just sitting on my floor it's probably gonna get tossed interesting yeah so but i'm just curious if anybody has uh gone ahead and created one of those that i printed i shared the file for free in the uh in the party can way. you see how many downloads i had no I I, I, sh I don't have it like as a public file. It's in my OneDrive backend, so uh, I can't tell how many people have accessed it. Okay. That I know of. I, you probably can. I've never tried it. Okay. No. So Curious. that's really about it there. Um, so uh, I'm excited to see that this just launched. I'm I'm behind on this. No one else has done done it yet. I reached out just so people are aware, so you can hold them accountable. I reached out the Mad Hatter. And I had told him to reach out to uh, Jonathan over at Nostalgia Unboxed. I don't know if it ever happened. Reach out to a couple of uh, people that do podcasts like us. Uh, but a friend of mine in the community, uh, Jonathan, uh, started this sweet campaign for Army Ant. And I'm really excited about that. Let's go ahead and just close this new tab. That's going to kill me. Um, so Army Ant, super, super cool. And uh, Stephen, we got a little bit of an echo on your end. If you got me blasting in your audio, here, um, here let me lower it. Okay. <laughs> but uh, so the Kickstarter just launched uh, on the 14th. Today's the 17th. It's been up for three days. I think it's been up for three days, but 47,000 out of the 82,000 goal, right? These always start off very hot, very good because people are, have been waiting for something like this, but then it always slows down. Uh, there's 28 days to go on this, so it's been up for two days. Sorry, um, 152 backers. I want as many people to check this out. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. This is uh, a fan made project. This is to go with a lot of your other treasure um, monster toys if, if you have any already. Uh, he's been creating some amazing characters. Uh, I know that. Uh, my buddy Jim Lawson has been working on a lot of artwork for these things. Look, at, it comes in a freaking box. It's got stickers. It's like a it's like a vintage style uh, Playmates figure. Injection molding, so it's professionally made. It's not some handmade at home thing that he's doing. These are all professionally done. The paint work is all done by machine, just like all toys are made nowadays. He's essentially running his own toy line independently. Wow. I'm so, definitely going to back this project up. It's very nice. So this is really cool. These are premium. You know, these are not walking into Target spending $40 on this. This is a premium item. So this is a little more pricey so people know. Like, this isn't your cheap thing. This is going to be one of X amount. Like, they're not going to be mass producing these. Uh, but you can see there are some variants. There's some standard ones. Like, this is the one I'm going with, with the standard colorings that matches with, like, needle nose. Uh, you know, the vintage Playmates figures, but there are yeah. alternate ones you can get. The combat camo army ant version, which is really neat. I think that's cool if you want the more uh, camouflage-based character. Um, what is this? Map of map of mystery. So that's pretty cool. It's like a little insert. I'm a little naive to that part, so I'm very sorry. Uh, but here's some like hands-on on the prototypes. The box is really cool. I think this is just really, really cool. Yeah, it's um, there it is. awesome. Shadow line. There it is. So you can see some stuff in the shadow line. Can I make it a little bit bigger? Uh, I want the axolotl personally. That one's really, really fun. And then I want the the uh, chameleon. That's my other, that's like my second favorite. But he's got like a Jenica style in here, got like an invisible Mikey style figure. I'm gonna be I'm sorry if Jonathan watches this and I'm butchering it, but I I I'm 
I am not the I'm not like super super um, tied into it. Like I know a lot of stuff. I know like Sledge Hog, um, and I know like Grizz and stuff like that, which are some ones I see a lot of people buy. But I'm not. Uh, I don't know all the names. But actually, now I'm looking at it. They're on the side here. Look at me go. We got El Lottle. That's what it was. El Lottle. Oh, cool. So it shows right up. So how cool is that? Very cool. What are these stretch goals? Or are they extras? Let's see. We got that one. We got the shadow line, some comic books. Yeah, Jim Lawson's uh, Ink and Color by Dan Berger. Everybody should know those names if you know anything about the classic um, Mirage or IDW stuff. Um, here we got stretch goals. What do we got? A lot of 97,000. You got some slug figures, which is fun. The Dan Berger comic. Uh, I think this is, might be a bigger, the, the bogus Bionic Bear card figure. Might be a bigger figure. I could be wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, but there's Grizz. You got a gold coin. Sledgehog, which is awesome. And then El Otto, which is incredible. My personal favorite. Then we nice. got a mystery figure. So we got a couple mystery figures. It just keeps going. Hey, I was there. There's Jonathan with the man himself with the figures. That's cool. That's very neat. So, I'm a I'm a big fan. Uh, go support him. Uh, Jonathan's really really cool. If you ever shoot him a DM or you're talking to him, um, I had one person bring this up, so I'm going to just bring it up personally. Um, he is very. I'm not going to say to the point. Uh, he's very excited, and this is a, a business for him. So uh, never feel like he might be either um, not giving you the time of day or anything. He's just a busy guy, and he's doing a lot to try to get this this line just kind of going. So I'm super happy in regard to that, and I might be working with him in the future once we get our shit t together at work. <laughs> but um, we at Bull Airs want to do a figure with him of our mascot in the line so that it's would be neat we've been wanting to do for a long time so that's a whole thing um but please go support i think it's really really cool um once again i'll put the link below and just support creators the uh, the stuff that we love ever all those people were started uh a long time ago and i'm trying to come up with the right words like everybody has to start somewhere uh and kickstarter really makes it easy to get some cool things that we never got as kids there yeah. we go for sure. I had no fucking stake in this. I'm like pitching it like it's my shit. So, uh, yeah, please do it. Please. Save your money. <laughs> yep, for sure. I'm going to be backing it up. Very neat. It's cool, man. It is going to be big. He showed me a lot of stuff. He sent me like all the background stuff. Like he sent me, he sends me all the, the test shots and everything. I get to see it all. And I think it's really cool. And Kickstarter, it's a project they love. <laughs> so, anyway... Without, without getting too hung up on the Army Ant, uh, we had a lot of stuff shown today at New York Comic Con as like a preview. Uh, preview night started today. We're probably going to see more throughout the weekend. They always avail more, but Trevor doesn't do it as much. Uh, let's see if we can bring up some, some stuff. We're going to start just what's on the party wagon. You cool with that, Steven? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like this. Black and white Baxter. We haven't seen that yet. Yeah. So I ordered the black and white brothers today and they're still not sold out as of this recording, but there was only limited of 500 and they're going to be shipping next year, January. However, you can pick them up at the show, which I'm jealous about because I love these things. Yeah. Uh, Oscar hit me up and he said, did you, he called me and said, did you get them? And I go, no, I passed on them. Uh, I don't know if I'm. I don't think I'm going to get them. I, I mean, they're expensive. It comes out to like four hundred bucks after shipping or taxes and shipping. I'm a uh, man. I am. I just I have so much. I have no room. There's nothing I can do uh, for like space right now without getting rid of stuff. And they're three twenty, right? Yeah, like I said, tax shipping almost four hundred. Yeah, and and like. I'm going to grab another NECA tune dial so that I can have it to like, I'm going to store it and then use it when I want to take photos. I thought you said you weren't going to get it. No, I'm getting it. I'm getting the last day. I told you I'm going to buy it the last day. Yes, you did. So, I apologize. So it okay. It's on this podcast. Okay. You did say that. Yes. <laughs> um, Sorry. So I'm going to order another one. So I have it for photos and like, that's not, a, that's not, that's one, what, 150, 180 yeah. with shipping. 
It's yeah. not that crazy, but I don't need to spend that plus another 320 with more stuff coming out. You know, there's there's more coming. So yeah. just can't do it. Is this what you uh, grabbed? Yeah. The 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 Pix Leonardo from the original uh creator at, at Funko. Yep, and then the Chase is Shredder. Shredder Chase, yep. I saw that. Um, let's not worry about a video. Those are some cool customs. We check those out. Let's see. Let's keep scrolling. There we go. That's, that's what the, I'm excited that's, about. That's the money shot right there. Yeah. Look at they those look faces. identical to the cartoon. Look, yeah. Look at those faces. That Mikey. Everything about these are incredible. And yeah. I never got the Rebel Tex. Uh, I got a bootleg yeah. Rebel Tech of Leo from AliExpress. Loved it. Thought it was cool as hell. Uh, definitely a bootleg. And I just don't like the joints that you see in the real Rebel Tech. There's like these weird like balls and their elbows, and it's just it. I just don't like it. Look at these things, like they look like they just they jumped right out of the fucking oh, animation. It's because of three D. It's it's much easier to like really nail it, right? Yeah, hundred percent. I I honestly thought that was the cartoon for a second, for a split dude, second. Dude, it's so good. Um, yeah. With Leo, they give him the bow and arrow down here with a little plunger, which I think is like relevant to when they did like the uh, like the Dungeon and Dragon style episode. Yeah, could be wrong. Um, I would love to see those variants of these with like the dwarf raft or the barbarian raft they did, and like the elf, like the archer elf of like these guys. Dude, I do everything, everything. I I'll, I I'll, love the variants, man. Um, that Cody bitching about the plugs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, I did not look at any comments in the party wagon. I'm not even looking over here. Uh, but it comes with a dirt bike, reused dirt bike, not even new. You know who it's from? John Connor. Yep. So it's for a kid size figure. People don't know John Connor, the action figure buck, is what they made uh, Danny from. The Danny Luke Crate, Luke Crate exclusive. So you can kind of figure figure out how small this dirt bike is going to be. For Casey Jones, what's your thought? Um, I'm not buying it. It's just to me a money maker for them. Yeah. So this is this is for the people that don't have Casey Jones. This is it looks like almost like a an ultimate, right? Are we getting an Elias face in this? Because you get the mask and you get the masked head. Yeah, I don't know. But do we get the unmasked head? Is what I'm, I don't, I, I don't see, see it. Yeah, but he's got the the two pieces on. You got the, the glove and then the other one, which is from. Looks like it might be reuse from the Phantom of the Opera, Casey Jones. Yeah, recolor. Yep, which is understandable. Um, but this isn't for us. That already have it, in my opinion. This is. See, everybody has Casey Jones. That's yeah. Ninja Turtles. So I think this was a bad move on their part. I don't I will agree that I don't think that this is a smart play. Um, but there might be more people out there that don't have it. Yeah. Oh, there's a photo of it. Someone shows it right here. Yeah. Yeah. So these Same are the bite. daddy legs. Yeah. So <sighs> might be too small. I don't know. There's a uh another figure that got announced with him which is yeah. the leonardo with shredder we'll get back to this don't worry see if i can try to find it that's super cool um oh wow like i can't oh there it is there so it is. leo with shredder this is like the rooftop battle scene that they talked about but it's the same shredder we all have yep and the same face is from the same one as the vhs pack isn't it no leo's face is from the accessory pack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. I believe it's the same face. So this is just what I think. Hold on. Okay. So I found a difference. This is the secret of the ooze face. So this is the face that is a... 1990 Leonardo face that went on the Secret of the Ooze bodies that came with the Ninja Turtles 3 four pack from San Diego. Okay. These are the bonus angry heads that went on the Secret of the Ooze Turtles. So this is the first time we're getting 
it on a 1990 turtle. Okay. Unless it's a different head sculpt, which I don't think it is, but unfortunately that just made me have to buy this because that's technically a figure I don't have now. <laughs> no. no, it has to be a same face we have. No. So with the 1990, we've got a closed face Leo. And then in the accessory pack, we got the happy smiling face Leo for 1990. And then this face came with the lighter blue paint on the bandana, longer bandana th uh, tassels, and one on the Secret of the Ooze. So there were the 1990 head sculpts that went on Secret of the Ooze bodies, which I never understood. But I have them up and on my shelf. What about the Ninja Turtle 3 pack? Or Ninja Turtles 3 VHS? Yeah, that VHS, the Ninja Turtles 3 VHS pack, is what those angry heads came in. Right. So... I think it's the same face. We'll find out. No, I'm saying it's the same face, but it's a different paint deco, and it goes on oh, a, a different body. Because the, the ball pegs are different on the okay. Secret of the Ooze to the 1990s. The ball pegs got is it. in one, and the other one's in the next. So you couldn't swap them unless you pl pr you know pry them out. So I guess you'll be getting this one, huh? I, I guess I've got to. Uh, that shredder better be different. <laughs> or you're going to be customizing be them. Yeah, I mean, I don't need another goddamn shredder. So, hey, we just figured that one out. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's scroll back up to what we were looking at with some of the cartoon reveals. And I know we've got a couple different angles. Uh, we already saw Tattoo at San yeah. Diego. It's supposed Before. to be released this year, technically. Yeah, it's come any day. Uh, we got the Super Turtle. Now, I want to know what the gift with purchase is, because I want a gift. Show your order confirmation at NECA register to redeem. <laughs> Nobody said what kind of gift it is yet. Let's scan that QR code right now on that. Uh... <laughs> is it just to buy the, is the QR code just to buy? We're going to figure this out live, everyone, even though it's a recording. I think it is just to go to their website, but I don't think there shows the gift. Be. Let's see. Yep, it's just to buy the diorama. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll figure out what that gift with purchases. Um, mm -hmm. So you got Super Turtle coming soon with the um, domoids. Y'all are waiting for this, this bad that bad bitch. That April, yeah. Are you getting, do you, do you get this, are you getting this Mirage? Yes, I'll be getting that one. She's I great. have the other one, but. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky enough to already grab her. Uh, this is sick. Is it like cho Chote? 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 It's C-H-O-T-E or something? Oh, is that a Mirage? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if you look at... Um, I, I don't... I can't remember if he had... Uh, if he was in the... Um, what's that fucking game? The third game. Um, Manhattan Project? For NES, I feel like he was part of that at some yeah. point, or in art or something. I don't remember. That's awesome though. Like, look at that. We know he's got some reuse on part of the arms and the legs. It's got to be from Triceraton naked. So, I think that was a good good reuse there. Probably my most anticipated figure for the rest of the year right now. Give me more wrath. Really. Yeah, dude, old man Raph, look at the face. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Even Chad says so. Look at it, it's badass. <laughs> mm. So we got the well, there's some that are missing. There's um Fred. I think that's name is Fred. Fred from Yeah. Isn't that his name, Fred? This guy? I thought his name was Fred. Creepy, that's what it is. Creepy Eddie. Sorry. Creepy Eddie. Yeah. Is Creepy Eddie from the is he from yeah, I know. Is he from like the the Easter episode or anything? I don't remember. He was when I think he was when uh, Donatello forgot who he was. Okay, I don't really really know. I don't remember a lot. But what okay. I think is cool is he's got this cool like ghost tail. He comes off at the hips. 
and it matches his top half, and it looks kind of like this. Yeah. See the back half of them? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. That is very cool. That's great. That's great. So that's those just, are the two have figures for myself. <laughs> that's just a fun figure, right? Like, in my opinion, yeah. Like, that's just a fun ass figure. And huge shout out to Maximilian on that great grab. I think it's awesome when the community members are able to post stuff like that up. Um, so they can pull right from what we're seeing. This is super hype, too. Order it now, ships tomorrow. Is it available still? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, it's available. I just checked it a few, uh, like right before we went live okay. because I'm going to order it. I think that is awesome to get those up. Um, we got to pull some more. We got, I do. There's so many photos today. Holy crap. Uh, really hyped to see this painted. Um, uh, near Matt Hatter and I got the, the chance to play with him as a prototype sculpt at San Diego. And I think that's really cool. Oh, freaking Zilu Tomaz just texted me. <laughs> I just looked down. I had a text message from him. Um, who sculpted this? <laughs> so, <laughs> as I'm saying it, what are the chances? That's so funny. Right? Um, you got a microphone on you. I'm joking. Yeah, so Tomaz did this. Uh, <laughs> but this is great. Um, it's really funny. But uh, Trevor was was like talking about, this is so funny, like the way the butt works. Like he's got ash cheeks that like look really good with the sculpt into the, the, like the underwear, like they just did a really good job of how they did that. So this is just really cool. Uh, look at the extra heads down at the bottom. Those this one cool. right here reminds me very like with Daffy duck, very Warner brothers, Looney tunes. It does. I love that. Uh, we got a recolor of belly bomb. I don't know what the hell this is from, but wow. On color. Yeah. And then there's wingnut and screws. Wingnut, look at that color, man. That pops. That's so good. At first, I was like, "This isn't what they looked like in the cartoon," but I realized they were Archie. Yeah. So, really good. They'll fit in like your cartoon. It's funny because I didn't remember until just as I'm saying that that we already have wingnut screws in the fucking cartoon. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh we got to find. Uh, or got to finally see this bad boy. Hmm. If anybody might recognize that little accessory down there, I might have teased it a couple weeks ago yeah. <laughs> in a photo. Um, that was on one of my one of my dioramas things. And then this. I'm what getting a that. Curveball. Huh? I'm getting that. Dude, what a curveball. I have in my closet, and I, this pisses me off because you you have seen it. I have a dark Leo in my closet that I made. Yeah. And he's very similar to this. And I hand sculpted the mask with clay and painted and everything on the face. Uh, but I didn't base it off of the TMNT adventures, dark Leo. I was just making something out of the Leo for fun. That ended up very similar to this. I didn't have the chain or anything, but that is just really cool. And I know this is, a, this has to be a painted prototype because of the stance. So he's insanely early, but I think this is going to come on. The Archie, the new Archie Turtles buck with pit without the pins. Interesting. Okay. Because he's got that bulkier, bubblier shell. I mean, the front shell, but the bigger feet. So awesome. Yeah. Someone answer Frederick. Oh, James did. Never mind. Any info on this guy? Uh, and then here's the thing that I was hyped for <sighs> Ronan. What is it, brother? So, yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. The Night Watcher Turtles. Oh, my God. Dude, look at the, look, oh my, the colors. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I'm just so excited on those. Uh, Donnie doesn't have the strap on his hat. So that yeah, is... Yeah, we can custom that. Well, no. I'm wondering if it some if it sticks to his head somehow or if they're permanently on there. Oh. So I don't know if the straw hat's any different there. So that's really cool. But uh, I heard about these over a year ago. And I'm just really happy to see them painted. Uh, I think they're really, really cool. Uh, I am so excited. And I'm even more excited that I didn't read uh, The Lost Day yet, because I'm behind on comics, to where I would have seen this and did them myself. Hmm. So well, I, I, I do. How many I do sets that. are you going to buy? Uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll probably buy two. One, okay. one, one the shelf, and then one to just have. I have two of everything. 
I gotta fix this. I actually have a, uh, you know, what I'm working, what I'm working on right now, in this line. I fell over on my desk. Mm -hmm. Um, got the Casey. We saw Casey Marie already. Um, she's coming soon. Uh, she's done, done, done. So that's really cool. And then, same with April. Uh, but April is coming uh, Q2 now. So she is not shipping until uh, April to June. April, Ju April, May, June. I wonder why they did that date then. I don't know. Maybe we'll get April and April though. I can't wait though. I, I, I need the, I need more Ronin stuff, man. Oh, there's the Panda or again. Yeah, dude. PandaCon. One of the best sculpts I've ever seen. I love the panda con sculpt. Yeah. The head comes off right here at the bandana. And uh, that's how you put this um, little hat on. Yeah. And then there's Shredder. The new Shredder, which I believe is using the same sculpt as the Archie one. Okay. Or similar. No, it's not, it's not the same. I asked. It's similar, but it's not the same. Who's that guy? I forgot next to him. Worm with a Y. Okay. But yeah, that's what we got so far. Uh, according to Jay, no gargoyles. Maybe different releases? I don't know, man. For no gargoyles. Days. Still super bummed. These are so sick, by the way. Apes Art crushes these. Yeah. Um, so yeah, still no gargoyles. Uh, what else Maybe they I don't think they're doing good for Necro because they're giving those things away with the rewards. Yeah, they got to be bombing. Because like every time I go to one of my sh my local targets, oh my god, I'm getting tired. Um, they like one of my targets has every single gargoyles figure like stocked at all of them. Yeah, every single one they've released. Like just talking like, about Target. Oh yeah, a lot of targets are clearing out their Neca section. Yeah, speculation on to why, um, but as Steven said, yeah, that's uh, that seems to be a thing, and we're unsure of what exactly is happening. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to just kind of find the photo that I did. I sent the group chat, but that might take way too long. We didn't. I did not prep for this one, um, but I went to my local Target. Uh, I got four, but I went to one that usually has some good stuff. And I will preface this as it is a Target in a nice, expensive area, but nobody, nobody manages the collectible section. When you walk in, it looks like a hurricane hit it. Shit's all over the floor. The Funko Pops are just thrown on the shelf. All the NECA stuff is spread across the whole thing. It's a mess. I went. Uh, two or three days ago, and all they had was one set of punk frogs, and then the whole NECA section was cleared out and gone. Interesting. Just pair of just punk frogs. That's it. Can you no. ask your your uh, rep friend? I mean, yeah, I can message her. I just never did. She also doesn't run that store, but that's the only one that's been that way. Now, Stephen, go ahead and deliver the speculation of what people have said on the in the groups. That everything's going to go online. Yeah. So we don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm but see, forward. I'm thinking they're just getting rid of old stock for the new stock. Me personally. Yeah. I mean, a lot of that shit's just been sitting. It's all old stuff. And they're releasing a lot of new stuff. So maybe they're changing it up a little bit. Maybe the section's being taken down and moved into the toy section because a lot of targets are doing new resets. Has your targets changed, got rid of pegs, and did shelving only in their toy section? Yep. It looks like shit. It does. It, it really awful. does. But see, my target target has two collector spots now. Yeah. It's been my, like that for a couple months. Yeah. Uh, two of mine out of the four that are local have collector spots, too, in there. According to my rep, my friend um, Kim, she said the section in the back they reserve for the horror and the more adult oriented stuff where it's like the scream and then like dungeon and dragons and stuff like that and then in the toy section which is like yours is probably by the lego section too right yeah so that section is reserved for more like 
Ninja Turtles, um, Elf, Gargoyles, um, just other things like that, the plushes and all that stuff. So like that's what they that's what they said that their like directive was to do. Okay. So but both of my targets have turtles in both sections. So I think they just have too many. Okay. Yeah, so, mine only has it in the one section and back. Yeah, normally for me, it's like last Ronin's on the back wall and then the tune and everything Mirage are in the inside. So yeah. I don't know, but that's the speculation. The reason we're saying it's speculation is because we haven't really heard it widespread yet. And this happened a couple of months ago with Walmart, if we all remember. And somebody in the group had said that their Walmart rep had told them that Walmarts were getting rid of their collector sections. That's why they were clearancing things out and moving stuff around. And the opposite has happened. They've expanded the sections, it feels like. And then now they have like two extra sections in the DVD section that are themed. Like the bloody disgusting um, section. And then they have like, they have a new one that I think is like, Another horror one. They got like all the new Killer Clowns figures, and now they have end caps for Nacelle. So like they're just doing more collectibles back there. It's the opposite of what we thought. Yeah, I, I see. I never trusted what the employees say because they don't know. They shit. really don't. I'm sorry. Make, make minimum wage and have to deal with stinky trailer trash all day. <laughs> People buying their shitty on TVs and their stupid three hundred dollar. 70 inch TVs that'll break in your hair. Yeah, right. <laughs> Make sure you get the warranty. Yeah. So I just reloaded the, the group real quick. Um, just trying to see if anything new popped up while we were here. Um, we did see some new what dream dream X, Dream X, Dream Effects, April, April O'Neil, which we kind of already knew about. They showed that off already. Uh, overseas. Oh, man. I'm just kind of doing a quick scroll, everyone, just so I can just see what's new. Ba-ba-ba-ba. I think that's really it for the new releases and the new announcements. Um, yeah. let's. Uh, I'm gonna click this video real fast. There is audio, everyone, so I'm gonna click it and see if it shows anything new that we haven't seen. Yeah, that's what we got. So, missing once again, giant Krang. Yeah. Um, and uh, anything arcade related. Yeah, I don't think they're bringing back the arcade line personally, but no, I think it might be permanently on ice, which I am bummed out about. But no, no kitchen diorama. They probably kept that out because of everybody complaining about the Donnie's lab still not showing up for some people. Um, yeah, yeah what hard. is that? Why are they sending doubles to people? So what I think happened, uh, I mean, it's human error. Shit happens. So they're probably busting their ass. Mind you, you know, this happens in our business. I bring this up all the time. I like to be related to us because, you know, NECA's not much bigger than we are and we're fucking four people um but when it comes to like shipping stuff like you have your back end system and they're probably going through and they're like you know they print the label they do the labels ahead of time right and we see it it's just there's no movement so there's probably that process where they print all the labels right and they do them all at once and then they start slapping them on boxes and then shipping them out so mm-hmm. people that ordered two, they might have missed. So that person doesn't get the two, and then that becomes an issue. But the other situation is is when you print out these labels, their back end system, there's a you have to like fulfill it. So there isn't like fulfill order that it prints out a list. Usually you have to like, create the shipping label through either a third party or the actual program itself that you're using. And then you have to most of the time manually fulfill or plug in the shipping. Uh, tracking number to that order and that should auto fulfill. 
So if none, if neither of those work the way it's supposed to, that order will show up as unfulfilled. And when they're going back through their list and going through like maybe the first orders or whatever, then they're going, oh, well, these people are still waiting and they're probably accidentally refulfilling the order. So you get another, yeah. guy, which, which is very easy to do. Like it is very easy. These aren't automated systems. This is humans doing this and usually working very hard to get stuff out the door. And there's might be two or three people doing it, maybe more. Um, there's people are making mistakes. It happens. It simply happens. So my concern is, is that there are only 2000 made and if they shipped a couple hundred like this. So if it says out of 2000, you're probably going to have 2,250. Okay. Realistically, because you always, always over purchase just in case. You always, you have to do it. You know what? Mondo, someone just did that on a Mondo group. Uh, someone listed their box and it said like, it said like 21, 2165 out of 2000 or some shit. And it was one of their, they had to order extra. So it's just how it's always going to be that way. So if you're ever buying something, anybody who gives a shit, if you're ever buying something and it says limited to like 150, it's probably closer to 200 or 250, depending on the business. Probably. Numbers are never accurate. Even at our job, they're never accurate. If it's a limited to 100, I'm ordering 125 fucking shoes because there's going to be issues. I yeah. got to replace. You got know? it. So, and it's always nicer to make, like, really buy something based on you liking it, not because of the number tied to it. Don't buy something that's limited. Buy something because you want it. Because... When you don't do that, right? Like Steven, let's say that you want to buy a, a street scene dial, right? Mm -hmm. They only make two thousand of them, and you they sell out immediately, and you're really upset. How hyped are you if they bought 20, 20 like twenty two fifty, right? They added two fifty extra, and then those go up on the website later on, while everybody that already got it's ready to go, and you're like, "Yo, this is sick." Are right. you happy? Yeah, they're happy because they're making money. You're happy because you're able to get something that you thought was gone. So exactly. we do that at our job. You sell 100, 100 shoes, you order 125, those 25 extra, you're going to be able to make some, some, you know, 25 extra people happy. Exactly. Yeah. We we deal with that stuff all the time. It's that's, I feel like I was going rants about being pissed off about people. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's the Gary's pissed off rant about human nature. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Uh, that's funny. Um, I don't. Yeah, but I'm working on this for Joey. One of the guys in the party wagon commissioned me to do uh, a Toitles, uh the remaster figure. Uh, so cool. That's just sitting on my desk. Very nice. What else we got, man? What else is going on? Um, these started hitting a couple weeks ago. We didn't. We never talked about the new Masters of the Universe stuff, did we? No. no. Stealth Leo. Yeah, I walked into a Walmart sitting on the damn shelf like three, four weeks ago. Forgot I, I even bought it. Let's try to think. Do you, there's just a lot of Ninja Turtle stuff just to go over. Yeah, we're always talking about toys, man. What's today? The 17th? Tomorrow, I'm going to post this right after everyone. I'm not going to edit it as you probably have already noticed. I'm just going to throw it in. Um, I already made the thumbnail, by the way. Um, yeah. But uh, the new game comes out tomorrow. Was it Mutants Unleashed or something based off yeah. the, the show? The 18th. Yeah. So I'm excited for that. That looks like it could be fun. I've seen no reviews on it yet, which worries me that the embargo hasn't lifted because they know it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you uh, going to get it for PlayStation, Switch, or Xbox? I'm going to get it for my Xbox. Because my Switch is my Nintendo's only exclusives. Uh, line, so I'm always cool. I always, always do exclusives on that. Uh, my PlayStation, I just feel dirty every time I touch it, so I don't <laughs> usually touch my PlayStation. Um, and then my Xbox is what I play everything on. I do want to pivot back to the NECA booth because someone was kind enough to post some more photos of non Ninja Turtles in there. Holy shit, Herman! Wow, yeah, so. We're working with the Pee Wee Estate. 
with the Paul Rubens Pee Wee Herman estate for work. Um, so I'm very tied, very closely tied to the character. And just seeing this is amazing. Uh, same with this little lady over here. <laughs> I guess you're going to be picking that up. Oh, of course. Of course. Paul, oddly enough, Paul was a fan of uh, Bull Airs. So before he passed. Yeah, he had a pair of our shoes. Um, so it's really, really cool. But Sesame Street, I'm so excited about. Uh, the This right here, the rocker elf, I'm really excited about. I did find the 80s elf. He's been at Targets lately. That one's really, really fun. Yeah, check that out. Commando Elvira. They're getting the, they're getting the, the most out of these molds, man. Yes, they are. I, I know Cassandra's upset. She's loving, loving all of it. Dragon Ball Z. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> I don't know if Jonathan watches this, but I, I'm always on a crusade against him with Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, my on-running joke. Cause I, I like to uh, give him shit about Dragon Ball Z and then give him shit about uh, uh, the Mezco Casey Jones. Same with Jay. Uh, here's a closer view of the turtles these are hand painted these are prototypes everyone just make sure we know um i can see the brush strokes so the belts look really cool look at the shading around the legs so mm -hmm. i don't know if this is cell shaded or not that mikey doesn't look like he has any cell shading but this these leo legs look cell shaded yes they do so they're supposed to be coming out beginning next year <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> there's no, there's no way. The, there's, no one, there's no way. Um, I do want to also highlight these because a lot of people have been enjoying the, this line. Uh, these are brand new. Uh, I talk to Randy about these all the time. Like him and I are very big fans of the Ben Cooper, uh, costume line. Uh, he's shown me a lot of really cool things that are coming down the pipeline in this. Uh. These are just really cool, man. 20 bucks. They're so good. Yeah. They're fun. Superman. Sorry, we're just going to blast through this real fast. These are some newer photos I haven't seen from uh, Statoverse. Uh, you know who we're not seeing in this? We got Super Turtle and we've got Old Man Raph. Um, we don't have uh, Donatello with like the tool belt. Yeah. He's not in this. He should be shipping soon, though. Oh, there's the Kevin from the. There, they always have like uh, all the exclusives shown in like a certain spot in a certain case. Uh, and this has got to be where the Kevin is. Yeah, that one's fun. I love the box art. Box art's really cool. I'll save that box art. Mezco, a lot of Mezco stuff. This is what Mezco does best, right here. Full full body suits. Amazing. Juice. So yeah, that that's all the photos. I, I I blasted through those while I was uh trying to uh I'm just, my brain just stopped working. I was watching my mouse over here as I was trying to bring it over here to change the screen. Um, <laughs> Mezco Mezco Crush is the full body cover figures in my opinion. So yeah, hell yeah. I wonder if they're going to show any Ninja Turtles. Are they done with the line? Man, I don't know. Uh, I feel like we deserve. Oh wow, that just sounded entitled as shit. I feel like we will expect to see something in the shredder and foot soldier aspect of things. So hopefully. Yeah. I think they'll, 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 those are shoe ins. Like they're just, they're just going to cover up a character with like yeah. a soft good. Reuse an old body. I hope they do it in April. Maybe. I feel like that's, I feel like that's a given. I don't really see them do a lot of girls in my opinion. From what I noticed, when I saw them yeah. when I was in San Diego, I didn't see a lot of girl figures. I think about it. I saw all their stuff. They didn't yeah. have anything crazy. Um, but yeah, I think that's about where we're at. Anybody? Like, I will say. Anybody else have any questions? Like I'm doing a goddamn live stream at work. <laughs> um, Stephen, what else did we? Did we I mean, we could try to cover. We cover like everything right now. Um, not everything. Uh oh. Oh, the S7. Bam. Leak. Where the hell is this that? coming from? 
What's this for? No, it's it's just tight. a money maker. It's always a money maker. Every it's a business. Yeah. <laughs> I I went on a whole rant about that with Tom. Was it Tom the other day? Or was it? No, it was, it, was, it was with April and Brendan going to work yesterday. Okay. They got really mad at me. I was like, it's, everything's a moneymaker. It's what they fucking do. Um, but there's also a wing nut and screw loose. Yes. So I wonder if they're going to release it for New York or what? Dude, I have no idea what the hell that's for. But uh, let's see. There he is. Fuck yeah, dude. Awesome. Fucking great. If you don't, I know you don't collect Super 7, but. Holy shit. The wing nut and screw loose are masterpieces. They're huge. They're massive. Hmm. So big, I don't even have it on my damn shelf. <laughs> but that's oh. awesome. I saw somebody complaining about them doing the gold plating on it. They're like, why would they do that? And it didn't look good. I'm like, looks fine to me. Yeah. I'm just doing a quick scroll once again just to see if there's anything we missed. Trying to... Let's do a quick shout out because he's never gonna watch it. But Mr. Melparium himself, Pedro. No. Pedro's not dead, but rest in peace, Pedro. <laughs> he used to be one of our admins. Uh, I think that's really it, man. I think we just covered so much. Um, Super Seven. Uh, there is a really cool uh, kid robot glow in the dark uh, vinyl figure that is going to be available at San Diego. Um, I don't know if I have something off, the, uh, you know, right off the cuff, but I know Dave, the TMNT collector, uh, got one early to show off. So that was really neat. Uh, no one knows the story, but Dave gets a box out of nowhere. And it says, uh, has his address and everything on it. And, <laughs> and it says Randy on the thing. So he calls me and he goes, yo, what did you do? Why? Like, what is NECA sending me? <laughs> because he <laughs> thought I, he thought it was something that I did. Um, and it turned out that he forgot that he had a conversation with Kid Robot. And he didn't know Kid Robot was owned oh, by no. NECA. Or under the same umbrella, and that Randy oversaw that, so his name was on the box. We thought I was like getting him in on early stuff, but yeah, it's really cool. It's like it's not Michelangelo, but it, I always feel like it looks like him. He's got all the different arms, like a Buddha. He's got all the different weapons, and it's really cool. I just tried to bring it up. I couldn't find it, so uh, that's an exclusive for New York Comic Con. Really, really cool. Glow in the dark is really cool. Dave showed it. He opened it up while uh, we were video chatting. So check cool. that shit out. And I think that is officially covering everything. Well, here's a really quick. Uh, as, uh, have people been getting the Cybercell cards? I don't know. Have they? I think so. I think I don't think a lot of people know about them yet, but I think they're really cool. I have acquired how about nine packs. Okay. So. I've got nine packs. Uh, I've only gotten one. Was it ultra rare? Because the hyper rare is the high one, right? Yeah. So there's like common, rare, rare super rare, super rare. I think I have a super rare. I don't have a hyper or an ultra. It's a. It's because it's got a. It's got a shiny back. Yeah. It's a Raphael, which I'm happy about. I'm glad I got a shiny rock raft. So. Yeah. Uh, but that's so like for an example. This is the rare. Which, yeah. if you can't tell on the screen, those lines that are on the side, yeah, um, is uh, they're they're holographic, they're shiny. Yeah. That's a rare. And then the ultra rare, or was it super rare? Super rare. Super rare will have a holographic, like shiny background behind the character. Yeah. I and don't the, have any super rare on me right now, unfortunately. So do you do you did you end up getting did you get your collectors yeah. full set in? That's a hyper rare, right? No, no, not, that's an ultra rare. Oh so, so is hyper rare only Krang? Is only Android? Krang. So hyper rare is like all shiny as shit. Exactly. And I don't have any in this other one. 
great, but that's okay. Um, There's a lot what, of comments out there. How many have you bought, and how uh, where'd you pick yours up from? I uh, got mine from GameStop, but they, you can actually also get them from Cybercell.com. Right. So does your GameStop only put like four out at a time? Yeah. Okay. So I wonder if that's a fucking thing. They've only got four on the shelf, and I always buy threes. I feel bad for clearing out the shelf. <laughs> yeah, who cares? I can't find a, a hyper rare Krang to save my life. To be honest with you, also. Yeah, I'll um, I'm looking through. Uh, do you have one? A Krang? No, I need to get okay. it. Okay, I was making sure. Man, I, I can find. Well, here's a super rare problem. Donnie. You can't tell. Yep, yeah, he's got that cool shiny back. I love it. Yeah. So here we go, everyone. Marvel in the hyper rare crank. Yeah. This guy's asking ridiculously stupid money. They're going for 75, 100 bucks. Are they? Yeah. So I just did a quick look. I've been finding them around the $500 range. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I If you go to completed listings, they're going for 7,500. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, Cybercell's pretty crazy. Oh, here's one for hundred bucks. Yeah, oh, this one's sold. sold. Yeah, and they have a QR code on the back. Are you scanning them or are you put them into your your digital collection? Yeah, for sure. When was Is this that, sold? I haven't seen this one. Uh man, I don't. Where does it say? Fudge. August Did I miss it? It? This was August. End of oh, August. August. Okay. So. Yeah, Steven's out here questioning life choices. Did I miss it? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I kicked myself in the butt. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I've only got, I've only got nine. I got a lot of doubles. Um, I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of foot soldiers. So I got a foot soldier in all of them. I probably have like three or four. Yeah. A couple cases. Uh, I pretty much have like all the turtles. I got two different Aprils, two different yeah. Shredders. I got a cool amount. I like them. Are you so actually you, collecting them or you just bought them to got them? Um, well, I bought the first set of three because I was like, why not? And then uh, we're kind of in a dry spell with turtle stuff right now. So there's like nothing to really buy, yeah. which is great. Uh, so I've just been like, you know what? Trading cards sound cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless Sorry. you. I guess you're allergic to my statements today. Sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, I was like, they sound cool. Whatever, it's fun. Uh, the only negative is it's three cards per pack, and it's six bucks. They can yeah. suck my butt. Like, holy shit! I agree. Six bucks? That's ridiculous. Jesus Christ! Three. So, yeah. ugh, man, it sucks. So you gotta spend eighteen dollars for nine cards. Yeah, and if you're lucky, you'll get maybe five unique ones yeah it's it's pretty insane man i was trying to find out if i still had any on my desk here but i don't um but yeah that's it uh i guess to close it out i just thought of one last thing the red mirage elite enforcer figure is now finally hitting targets just started okay. showing up this week just thought of that the red one the red one don't we have that already? No. He just started hitting. I have him. But he just started hitting. Red Foot Enforcer? Oh. Yeah. Well, the, the, the forbidden standing up in the middle of a live of a, of a recording. Because that means I got to get him. And while I'm up, I got to share one piece of information. As I promised Cody from Too Much Toy News, I'd make a statement. Um, so first off, this is the Red Foot Enforcer. So we don't we didn't get him at. We got a blue one and a regular one. We got the red one, a darker red than the uh the assassin that we just got. The tall one that comes with the with the cape. Hold on. Which Let is annoying check. because I don't have a cape on mine because mine was like got mine was like pre pre prod. Oh. While Steven's walking, let me go ahead and tell make sure everybody knows yeah. that. My photo in the party wagon with the oh, new I see the difference. little guys. Okay. What what what'd you get? What do you got? I see the difference. Oh yeah, that's the old one. Yeah, so, I got an old one, but yeah. But we were talking about this in the party week. <laughs> so Did I you got print the, that. What? Did you print that? No, I bought it. Someone printed it. 
Okay. Um, but it's 3D printed and it's a big ass cartridge. And I bought it at a, at a game show, uh, a game convention over the weekend. And uh, I took a photo with the Joy Toy next to it. And he's like this big. Yeah. <laughs> and then I took a regular cartridge and I put a NECA toy next to it. <laughs> and everybody was like, yo, those are tiny. Guys, like the photo like, of him being like that tall, like next to it, like in general, it's smaller than a Lego figure. If, if you thought the photo was real. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> so I just thought that was very funny. You did get a lot of people. Honestly, I thought it was real too. Dude, oh, I was fucking cracking up. Uh, people thought I photoshopped it. I'm like, no, it's a real photo. I mean, because it was. Yeah. <laughs> get myself one of those. Uh, uh, and then, then Cody called me Dirty Gandalf, which was fucking great. That. That's hilarious. Oh my god. All right, we're going to try try to end this on a, a fifth time. Cool, let's do it. <laughs> Everyone, thank you. Episode 42 is a wrap. More toys in 2 weeks probably. Hopefully we'll figure something out that's not toy related in the next conversation. We've been okay. covering toys a lot, but we're we'll figuring it out. Oh, <laughs> All right, everyone. Peace. See ya.